In this second part of a two-part series on fungal pathogens, we will discuss additional well-known fungal diseases and the pathogenic fungi that cause them. They include the following. Fungal keratitis is an inflammation of the cornea caused by a fungus. Types of fungi that have been known to cause fungal keratitis include Fusarium, Aspergillus, and Candida species. Histoplasmosis is a disease caused by the fungus Histoplasma capsulatum. The fungus lives in the environment, usually in association with large amounts of bat or bird droppings. The symptoms of histoplasmosis are similar to pneumonia. Mucormycosis, also known as zygomycosis, is a rare infection caused by organisms that belong to a group of fungi called Mucoromycotina in the order Mucorales. These fungi are typically found in the soil and in association with decaying organic matter. Pneumocystis pneumonia, or PCP, is a serious illness caused by the fungus Pneumocystis urovecchi. PCP is one of the most frequent and severe opportunistic infections in people with weakened immune systems, particularly people with HIV and AIDS. Sporotrichosis is an infection caused by a fungus called Sporothrix schenka. Cutaneous infection is the most common form of infection and usually occurs after handling contaminated plant material when the fungus enters the skin through a small cut or scrape. Exerohylum is a fungus found in soil and on plants, especially grasses, and it thrives in warm and humid climates. It is a very rare cause of infection in people, but it has been identified as one of the predominant pathogens in a recent multi-state outbreak of fungal meningitis and other fungal infections associated with contaminated steroid injections. Cladosporium is another rare cause of human illness, but it has been known to cause several different types of infections, including skin, eye, sinus, and brain infections. Cladosporium, like many types of fungi, has also been associated with allergies and asthma. These are just a few things to know about fungal pathogens, and we invite you to view part one of this two-part series to learn more about other well-known fungal pathogens. To learn more about fungal pathogens, health and safety, or other environmental and indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.